Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with my Project Use It Up update. So I have five empties from last month, but I also have something that I'm switching out. So now real quick, the thing that I'm switching out is this. It's the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado in Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Hair Mask. I have not used this once. And in my Young, Wild, and Cruelty Free, which I missed my update on, and then I just decided it'd be so late that I might as well wait till the beginning of next month to update it, has two hair masks in it. And I'd rather work on them. So, I, like I said, I just decided to pull this out rather than it be going on from month to month. Now, the stuff that I've actually finished, uh, I finished the Body Shop's Juicy Pear Shower Gel. It's a teeny bit left in the bottom, but I can't use it. I finished the Clinique Moisture Surge. Once again, there's a tiny bit in there, but I could cut it open and get it, but I just didn't feel like it. It's fine. I have the Lancome Idol Lash Mascara. It's a really nice mascara, you know, but it's not cruelty free, so I can't repurchase it. But if you don't care about that and you like something with like this kind of plasticky bristle, brush. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty good. And I finished the 4th Ray Beauty Radiate Vitamin C Serum. It looks kind of crazy in there now, honestly. Last month it was about here and I finally finished that off. And finally, finally, the Nivea Cream Tin. It's empty! Yay! <laughs> that only took me forever. Now, I did finish two makeup samples right here. I finished one of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation samples, and I finished a Buxom lip gloss right here. I will insert the name of it right here. I want to say it's Sabine, but don't quote me on that. I have my samples picked out, and I'm going to go get them real quick, so I will be right back. Uh oh. I have the last Buxom lip gloss sample right here. There's literally one use left. It's like I could have glopped it on and used it up today, but I decided to not go all gloppy with it. I have the Fenty Hydrating Foundation and Soft Silk Primer right here. I have another Luminous Silk Foundation in probably what is actually my shade. And a Coconut Smoothing Priming Moisturizer from HelloFab. Actually, I think that's a moisturizer, like just a moisturizer, not a primer. Follow with makeup, so. I don't know, because the last word in it is moisturizer, I would treat it like a moisturizer. I'll find, hopefully, something else to work on. <laughs> and as for my sheet masks, I only used up six, well, six facial masks. I do have some eye masks in here as well. Let's see, we have the Oka Whitening Sheet Mask. We have the Nature's Friend Blueberry Sheet Mask. The Mother Made Brightening Pure Pearl Sheet Mask. The Looks and May Hello Mama Coma More and Aspirin CC Mask. A Hello Organic Vegetable Mask and a Cream Shop Blueberry and Banana Fusion sheet mask. And I have two of these smoky eye patches from the Orchid skin. So two eye masks and six regular sheet masks. Now as for everything that I'm carrying over, uh, I had an eye itch, my apologies. Let's see. I have this Way hair texturizing hairspray that I literally used today, and that's it. So its weight only went from 64.7 to 62.2, sorry. I have the Vichy Lift Active Supreme Moisturizer. I did like hit like the, there was like a big bubble of air in there. It went from 61.0 to 58.2 grams, and there is a tiny little mohair in there. I swear, when you have dogs that shed, it gets everywhere, because it gets on your hands. 
So that's super attractive, I know. I have my Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser that I thought went further than that, but okay. I mean, I mainly use it to clean my makeup sponge, so it's not like it gets used every day. And probably what I actually made the most progress on, the IT Cosmetics Eye Cream. My weight went from 16.0 to 12.8, but I'd say I'm about halfway done. Like if you actually look in there. Now, because like I said, I'm replacing an item as well. I have six new things to show you, plus, you know, my sheet masks. First, I have my mascaras, plural for the month. I have my layering mascara right here. It's at its three month mark. The Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I'm tempted to buy this again in a mini size because I've been really liking it and they sell it at uh, Sephora. Like it's a very natural mascara on its own. So if you're into that, that's great. But for me, it makes a really good lengthening and layering mascara. So I don't need to purchase anything right now. If you guys saw my eye product collection minus palettes, which I'm planning to film, uh, I have plenty of mascaras and I'm sure I can find plenty of layering ones in there. But that is one that I have been really liking. And I have this mini of the Maybelline Lash Sensational in very black. And it actually has a similar, a little bit fatter, but similar one to the Lancome Idol Mascara. And I know people are in love with this mascara and, you know, it's good. I could see why, but I'm not... It's not something I'm gonna miss once I finish it. I have the Sweet so Strawberry Dreams Body Lotion from Body and Earth. This is like a, this is from a Christmas kit that I bought. Uh, it's completely full, it's starting right here. I have a Polish Choice Exfoliate 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant Mini. And it's completely full, I've never even opened it, but I figured rather than waiting to haul it, I would just go ahead and use it because I'm quite interested in it. I have a DP Hue ACV Apple Cider Vinegar Leave-In Hair Therapy, which does smell a little bit like vinegar, but otherwise it's pretty pleasant on the hair. So it's mostly full, I've used it once. And I have this IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo which currently weighs 33.6 grams. So not a ton of it left, but I, I needed an extra item at one point. So I decided to throw it in here and maybe it will remind me to actually use my dry shampoo. And as for sheet masks, this is my stack that I currently have out with my skincare. I have the Nature's Friend, this word that I have yet to figure out how to pronounce, mask. A Soap and Glory Fab Pore Mask. Another Oka Whitening Sheet Mask. A Heloganic Grain Pore Refining Mask. An Avayar Whitening Yellow LED Cream Mask. It's still here, guys. The Huangjusu Red Fruits Brightening Mask. Uh, two from the Ariel line. Uh, an Aloe, a Pore Care. Oh, and the third one, actually, because I bought one with points from Ipsy. A bamboo one so three of those i have one more iceland mask this is one is in papaya because i used that this month and i have a cream shop peaches and cream fruit fusion mask so my battery's dying so i need to get going so that is it thank you guys for tuning in as always i do really appreciate it and hopefully i will see you later bye